Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to draw the Pokemon Yamper from Pokemon Sword and Shield. And I'm going to attempt to draw this because right now I have a cat laying on my paper, so we're going to just kind of gently move her out of the way without getting any permanent marker on her. So, to start off with the Yamper, you want to begin in the middle of your paper right here. And I'm going to start by drawing a and Miami's going to attack me. So I'm going to start, and she's still attacking me. So I'm going to start by drawing a small oval shape right here. So I'm just going to draw a little oval like this for the eye. Then I'm going to leave some space, and I'm going to draw another oval right here. Try to keep it about the same size. Now, inside of there, you want to draw a little V-shape at the top of each eye just for a little reflection. Now, right in between the eye, I'm going to make a little sad face like this for the top of the nose. And then I'm just going to make another little V-shape like that for the nose. Now, for the mouth, you want to start right underneath the nose, and I'm just going to make a curved line like this, and then a curved line like this, kind of right past the eyes. Then you're just going to curve a line that goes down to here, and I'm going to curve this one down to here. Bless you, Miami. She just sneezed. Then, starting here, for the tongue, you're just going to draw a line that's going to curve down, and then it's going to come back up to here. And then I'm just going to take this and curve it all the way to here. And add a little line going down. Then for the teeth, just make two little triangle shapes right here on each side of the tongue. Now, to draw the head, I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to make a line that's just going to curve to the tongue. And then it's going to curve up here past the mouth. Then I'm going to kind of curve in a little bit for a little cheek. Then I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up. And then it's going to come down to about here. And then he has a really big ear. So starting here, I'm just going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve to here. And then I'm just going to kind of curve down to right about there. Then I'm just going to draw a line that's going to go down. And then I'm just going to draw a little curve line like this. Now on the inside of the ear, you want to make a line that's going to curve to here. And then it's just going to curve down here. And then I'm just going to make a big curved line right in here for some detail. Now, for the other ear, this one's going to be sticking up a little bit more. So I'm going to start here, draw a line that's going to curve up to here. Then it's just going to curve down to here. Then starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down. It's going to go all the way down, and then it's going to kind of curve back up to here. Now, for the body, you want to start back here. And I'm just going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve down to here. Then it's going to just kind of go up and then down like this. One more kind of like these little S shapes. And then you're just going to draw one right here. And you want to leave some space because that's where the feet are going to go. Then to draw the feet, I'm just going to start here. And I'm just going to draw a line that's going to curve around here in an oval shape. Draw another one that's going to curve around here. And then one that's just going to kind of curve around here for another foot. Then I'm just going to make two little curved lines right here for the toes. Two lines right here for toes. And then two lines right here for some more toes. 
Now, on his back right here, you want to draw a curved line like this, and then a second one for this little design that he has. And then the last thing we want to do is make the tail. So to draw the tail, you're just going to draw a line that's going to curve up. Then it's going to go down. Then you're going to curve back up. Then just go down. It's kind of like a lightning bolt shape. Then you're going to draw a line that's going to go up. And then finally down one more time just to create that tail. And there you go. There is your drawing of Yamper from Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.